Hi everyone, uh, we'll look at the find all conflicting appointments problem today. So this problem states that given a list of appointments, we need to find all the conflicting appointments. So what is an appointment? Let's look at an example. So here we have a list of appointments. So each of these sub arrays here is really an appointment. An appointment has a start and an end. Uh, so we need to find among all of these which are in conflict and uh, we just need to return them. So it's pretty obvious that clearly 4, 5, 3, 6 are in conflict because there's overlap here. Similarly, uh, three, 3, 6 and <clears throat> 5, 7 are in conflict. Now it's very important to note that the input listed appointments are uh, not in any sorted order. So this problem broadly falls under the merge intervals type of problem. So you can think about these appointments also as intervals which start in it. Now, if we were to uh, sort this unsorted list of intervals, this is what it would look like. So now let's think about it. Uh, how do we find what's in conflict? So clearly everything sorted by the start here. So we have increasing order as per the start for each of these appointments. So if we consider this first appointment with start of two, end of three, and then look at the rest of these appointments, what we have to do is look at the start of these appointments and, and see if the start is less than the end of our reference appointment. So in this particular case, we do not have a start in any of those four appointments that's less than the end of our reference appointment. So it's very important to note that I just mentioned less than and not less than equal to because in this particular case, we can have two appointments right next to each other. So this uh, is a slight uh, difference from the merge intervals type problem where usually uh, we all look at less than equal to. But this is a very specific case where we look at appointments and appointments can be right next to back to back region. Okay, so let's look at the second appointment here, 3, 6. And let's look at the rest of these appointments and see if we have any start that's less than the end of our reference appointment so the very first one here we have a four that's less than six so clearly three six and four five are in conflict uh, we also have three six and five seven so five which is clearly less than six so we have two sets that's in conflict three six four five and three six five seven now let's look at four five uh, we don't have any start for the remaining two appointments that's less than the end here uh, similarly we don't have if we consider 5 7 clearly 7 is not less than 7 there we go so let's look at some code now so uh, as i had mentioned uh, we can think about appointment also as an interval you can call this appointment uh, i'm just using what i had so i'm just calling it interval. but essentially it's an object with a start and an end, and here we're passing the start and an end in constructor. So we have to write a function that takes a list of appointments, or you can call it intervals, whatever you choose, and it returns this nested list of, of intervals or appointments. So why the nested list? So this inner list is basically the appointments or the intervals that's in conflict. Okay, so first thing we have to do is we have to sort the uh, input uh, list of appointments. So let's do that. Array start sort. dot a dot since we are uh, sorting by the start, so we have to do a dot start. 
dot start now uh, let's create the result nested list that we're going to populate in our code all right now uh, we we have to uh, write some code to do this walkthrough that I talked about so we need uh, two nested loops here devil start length minus one then I plus and then we have our so I plus one is then will start length plus now we need to have the check in here so the check is that if else b dot start is less than else i dot n uh, then clearly we have a conflict so let's create a temporary list so we're going to store the inner list for the nested result so, or we can call it conflicts just so it's here conflicts dot add so the fields i because we're going to add the uh, first one I'm just going to copy this so we have to and then add the second one the second uh, devil slash appointment and then add the inner list to our result finally will return so that it works. So what I'm going to do is take code, and um, I have coder pad up here. I have some uh, test data. Test data is essentially example. So we expect to get the results here. So let's see. Okay, there's some kind of uh, something's missing. Okay, so three six four five, and then three six five seven. All right, that was it. Go back and make it as well. Okay, uh, so that's it. Now uh, the time complexity, the worst case time complexity of this algorithm would be uh, all of n square. Because uh, you know, because we're doing a nested loop here. Obviously, the array uh, the, uh, this is of the log n. Have to over n square the variety of worst case will be over n square space complexity. If we ignore the result, then it. Uh, one um, so I should mention that there is a different way to solve this problem as well that uses something I believe called interval tree uh, so we will discuss that approach at a different time Thank you all. Bye.